What's up, y'all? Um, now that we're on distance education, I'm just gonna put together this quick little coil demo for you guys. A lot of you already know how to roll coils. You've seen me do the demo in class, but for those of you who missed class, here you go. This is how we're making our Black Fire Marina Martinez pots, and also one of our final projects here, this cool Udu drum, Sagar fired Udu drum, okay? So coil building. Take some clay, clutch it up, get into a little potato shape like this, then turn and squeeze. Just turn and squeeze. This is how I like to start my coils. Okay, Just turning and squeezing. Coil building is a, a nice, fun, kind of fast technique to build big work, big pots, sculptures. Um, I utilize this technique in my own practice, my own works. Okay. So once you've got it pretty squeezed out like that, the trick is just to roll the coil to get it to elongate. Don't push down too much. If you push down really hard, you'll find it flattens out on you. So kind of start in the middle, roll from the tip of your fingers, the edge of your palm here, and just roll the coil out. You get a nice clean surface, a big surface. Hope you have something at home that's pretty large so you can roll a relatively long coil. Okay, if you're getting too long, just rip it in half. Okay, you want to roll your coils out to about a half an inch. Okay. Then for your base, you're going to use a slab. You all know how to make slabs. So I already made a little slab and I just kind of used a yogurt container to trace out the shape here. This is the base for a slab pot. Wet it a little bit. That'll help the coil stick just a little bit, not too much. Okay, wet your coil a little. Okay, now come along, blend it in at the base there, and then just go around. And as you go around, kind of pinch it down. Okay, the longer you roll your coil, the more times you can kind of go around. So as I go around, I'm just kind of pinching it in, pinching it down. study some shapes of some different black fired pots you know in udu drums there's various examples on the canvas page of different udu drum shapes I'm gonna wet that a little more my other coil okay. run that in there make a nice ramp for when you come back around Once you've gone up a number of layers here, one, two, three, four, five, got five layers here. And just kind of going around, pinching it a little bit, making sure it's even thickness walls. And now you're going to blend it together with your wooden trim tool here. The trick to a strong coil pot is to really blend in these seams, really blend the coils together really well. Okay, the wood trim tool works pretty good. You have to use your fingers, you just want to use your fingers. I prefer the wood trim tool. Okay, I'm right handed, so it's a little easier for me to do with my right. Again, this is why you want to roll your coil to be about a half inch because once you've blended and really worked it together, it's going to make your pot quite a bit thinner. Of course, on the inside, you want to do the same thing.
to kind of go around and I'd kind of pinch it out a bit too. So I can really feel where the, it's slightly thicker in some places. Really want to try to get your walls really nice, even consistency. Okay, and then our metal rib, one of my personal favorites. Really want to get your surface nice and smooth. You know, we can take quite a bit of material off of this too when it gets leather hard by kind of scraping it like you guys have seen me do. Okay, everything gets burnished too, so the smoother your surface is, the easier it's going to be to burnish it. Okay, notice how I'm kind of coming up, that also kind of elongates the clay, it stretches it. This is going to become a little taller now. Another thing I like to do is I like to add another coil in around the base here because then when it gets leather hard and I start trimming it and using my rib to take material off, I can really carve it down deeper and give this give the drum more lift or give your black fired pot more lift because you can take more material off. It's easier to carve material away than it is to kind of come out and try to defy gravity. Okay, so I'll just take this nice thick coil here. Okay, go into the base there. And I'm just going to go right around the inner edge where that base coil meets the slab. I'm just adding this in there. So again, when this is leather hard and I'm, and I'm ribbing it out, trimming it, I can trim quite a bit of material off of here. And I can almost get the bottom of it round because I'm adding this that big coil in there at the bottom. And blend that really well, blend that all in really well. Okay. Check the next video for as we continue.